Good afternoon, San Francisco. I'm David Campbell, CEO and founder at JumpCloud. I've spent the past 15 years breaking into computer systems of all shapes and sizes. My red teams would quietly penetrate the perimeter defenses, locate the sensitive information, and exfiltrate it without raising any alarms. What I learned from this is not that I'm an exceptionally talented ethical hacker. I learned that security is really difficult and that the good guys have to protect against every single possible angle of attack, but the bad guys just have to find one vector that works to win. It simply isn't fair. An enormous industry has sprung up to protect against cyber threats. Companies are spending billions of dollars on security, but they're still getting compromised. Why? I believe it's because the security technologies that we have today can't keep up with the high-speed, low-drag world of cloud and DevOps, which is why today I'm very pleased to announce the, av the availability of JumpCloud, the first server security solution for the cloud that's built from the ground up for DevOps and IT people. Startups typically are extremely agile, but that agility comes with a price in the form of poor security. Enterprises, by contrast, have pretty good security, but turn very slowly. JumpCloud allows you to maintain the agility that you've had as a startup, but to get really good security in the process. To see how this works, let's take a look inside a typical technology startup, which has a founder, an idea, and if they're very lucky, some venture financing. This company, this hypothetical company, creates a mobile application alarm clock for snowboarders. And the gimmick is it only wakes you up if there's fresh snow. The founders are lucky. They get a proof of concept running in the cloud. And before they know it, they've got tons of users. Because apparently, snowboarders like to sleep in when the snow sucks. As with any business, there are technical and operational details that they have to take care of to get their company up and running and keep it running. And as the company grows, so does the list of things that they really need to do. And the last thing they need is a security guy getting in the way and slowing everything down. But there's the dilemma. You can't ignore security. And if you do, these guys, those guys, and maybe even these guys will steal your idea, decrypt your customer data, and perhaps even redirect your site to sell more performance-enhancing pharmaceuticals. And don't think that because you're just a, a boring little company that you're not a target. The bad guys will come after you just to use your servers to attack others, while you get the bill and the blame. You can't ignore security, but you also can't let it slow you down. That's where JumpCloud comes to the rescue. We take care of these operational and security details of running your server infrastructure in the cloud. We slot right into your cloud architecture, solving security problems the way that Puppet solves configuration management issues the way New Relic tackles performance issues, and the way that Cloudflare solves your DDoS problems. JumpCloud installs in seconds, and once installed, makes it easy to manage who within your organization can access your servers. JumpCloud makes it easy for you to patch your servers. Well, how does it work? It's an agent-based SaaS that focuses on five key areas looking for indicators of compromise. First, we look at who's accessing your systems and are the right people accessing your systems. Second, what are these people doing on your systems and are they doing the things they're supposed to be doing? Is your system under attack? And is your system talking to systems it's never talked to before? Is your system misconfigured in such a way that makes it more vulnerable to attack? And finally, is your system performing in such a way that makes it look like it's been compromised? We crunch all of this data in our cloud and present you, the customer, with just actionable alarms. Let's take a look at an example. In this situation, JumpCloud has notified you of unusual activity on a couple of your systems. Drilling deeper, we see that user E. Snowden is logged in to server Booz Allen 3 from a new IP address in Hawaii, and he's doing unusual commands on the server. JumpCloud gives you a couple of simple options to solve the problem. You can disable the account, you can require multi-factor authentication, or you can let it go. Once the coast is clear, JumpCloud quietly watches your back and lets you get back to running your business. Quick, easy, and effective. I know that's a radical plan for a security company, but that's how we roll at JumpCloud. 
And what would you expect to pay for something that makes quick and easy work of such difficult tasks? That's right, Junk Cloud is free to get started with. This sounds too good to be true, but it's not vaporware. We've been in private beta since March and are already watching over a thousand servers protecting these companies that you've probably heard of. And this is not just another flash in the, in the pan security company created by a cocky ex hacker. My partner, Rajat Bhargava, has had two IPOs and four acquisitions in the course of founding this, his eighth venture backed startup. So be honest. Is this you? If you're a startup in the audience, are you putting your head in the sand and ignoring your security issues? If you're an investor or board member, how sure are you that your portfolio companies are taking care of these operational and security details? It used to be hard, it used to be frustrating, and it used to be complicated, but today it's easy to secure your cloud servers, and we urge you to get started right away at jumpcloud.com. All right, great job, I was right on time. Judges. So, thank you for the Cloudflare shout out. Um, I mean, I, I, I totally get that this is a big problem and a big opportunity, um, and so I get the presentation in that sense. Can you talk more specifically about how exactly someone sets, sets this up if they want to use it? If, if, I, if I say, wow, we want to use this at Cloudflare, what would, what would we do in order, to, uh, in order to, to provision this? Great question. So, to, to get it set up on one system, you can use a, a simple shell command that you just run on the server, uh, and you're instantly provisioned. If you want to set it up on hundreds of servers, you basically just bake it out using Chef or Puppet, or roll it into your images. So very quick and easy to deploy. And does it work across any, any platform? Is it just Linux? I mean, is any platform, if I'm any, running Windows? Any Linux server. Okay. Windows support is in the works, uh, not ready for production yet. It also works at any cloud provider, whether it's Amazon, whether it's Rackspace or software as well. Tell me more about your sort of sales strategy, your marketing strategy. Are you going after long tail startups? Or are you going after enterprise? And um, in that vein, my second question would be sort of what is the number one objection that you're handling in that, in that sales cycle? What are people telling you in terms of why they wouldn't use it? Yeah, so basically we're really focused on SMEs. We think that those guys are the ones that are leveraging the cloud most exclusively or you know, uh, uh, to the max. And um, they're kind of the target market for us, and we'll start with them, and then we'll move up. In terms of objections, I think you know a lot of people don't have time, so we're trying to automate all the server operations and security. So they're so busy to even think about doing that. So that's generally the objection. We're trying to say we're going to make it super simple and easy for you to automate your server operations and security. Just from a operational standpoint, do you have an agent base? We do. Um, Solution. So, is there an overhead hit that you take, and then what happens if I have, you know, hundreds of virtual servers? That, you know, do you have an agent per virtual server, or what is the we do implementation it's, look it's like? A, it's a very lightweight agent. It takes between 30 and 50 mega, megabytes of memory. Okay. Very little CPU, very little network, uh, but it is one agent per server, similar to New Relic. And in your example, one of you you had this Snowden example where they were accessing. How do you know what's a a uh, non-normal pattern of access. Sure. Like what's, so what's the analytics? We can actually there? use Jump Cloud to manage the users that can get into your system. We can require them to use two-factor authentication that's backed by Google Authenticator. Uh, so we, we can then derive what normal patterns are of access. Uh, when we see someone logging in from a place they've never logged in from before, that's going to trigger an alarm, and it's going to require the customer okay, so to say, this rules, is OK. Rules-based yes. things, OK. And is that preemptive? Can I? prevent a user from engaging at all with the underlying system, or is it yes. reactive in that it's telling me as the owner of that service, you've got Ed Snowden poking around, you should go check out what he's looking at? Both. Okay. The, the capability exists to basically prohibit a user from logging in at all, or to block them out after the fact, should we trigger uh, some threshold of unusual activity. Is, this, is it all or nothing, or, or maybe a better way of asking the question is, if I've done a lot of this stuff right already, is it, how do I set this up? Can you, can you provision some part of this, or does this have to be a choice that I make when I'm first starting, starting right. a company? So essentially, we do not step on the existing system users that you've got configured. We lay on top of them. So, uh, so it's very easy to deploy our system on top of whatever you're using today for your user management and security. What is your pricing strategy for the future? You said it's free to get started. 
What are you guys thinking about in terms of So we're of thinking about in the range of sort of 10 to $50 a month, depending on which premium plan you go with. And, and that's per, per server? server. Or per server, sorry. Server. Yep, that's correct. Matt, I'm going to pick on you because I think you probably understand this space really well. What are, what are the biggest issues these guys are facing? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the devil's in the details with these, with these sorts of, um, with these sorts of opportunities. But you know, what I like about this is that it, it, making this stuff easier is really important and really critical. And so, you know, what I would want to see before it would be really, what is the provisioning process like? How hard is it? Um, and 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 that that's going to be the difference because for a lot of the companies that we talk to. I mean, it's just embarrassing how, how little security they've got on their system. So, you know, anything is an improvement. Sure. And, and to that, we have spent an extraordinary amount of time trying to make our install process as frictionless as possible. Our, our company mantra is all signal, no noise. If it slows you down, we don't do it. So the, the time it takes to get set up and to get your first system going is literally minutes. I only had six, so I didn't use one and a half of those to show the process, but it, it really is that fast. And what if a bad actor gets through, right? What are you representing to your customer base? Is it a best efforts on your part? What happens if Snowden doesn't trip your alarm? Yeah, I'm not a lawyer. Uh, <laughs> security is a hard problem. Our customers will be far better off for using our system than for not. Okay. And just one more quick question. If I have a hybrid environment where I have Amazon and I have some test servers internally as well, do you have a, a, a unit, a, 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 an interface that works across all of them? Yeah, it can Absolutely. work across, whether it's your colo environment, private, hybrid, public cloud. Great. All right, we're out of time, but that was Jump Cloud. Thank you guys very much. Great Thank job. you. Yeah.